This is the Canon EF 75 to 300 millimeter f4 to 5.6 zoom lens. And in my opinion, if you are on a tight budget, this is one of the best lenses that you can buy because this lens right here not only goes from 75 to 300, but it also works on both APS-C and full frame cameras. Let's talk about it. So the first reason why you should buy this lens is that it has a reach of 75 to 300 millimeters, which is insane considering the size of this thing. And one of the best things about this lens right here is that it does not only limit itself to being used with APS-C cameras, this can be used on full frame. So if you were to mount this on a Canon 6D, which is a Canon DSLR full frame camera, you're gonna get exactly 75 to 300 millimeters. But if you were to mount it on an APS-C, which is one of the best ways that I think I would use it, is you're gonna get an APS-C crop of 1.6, right? So you're gonna get around 75 times 1.6, is around 120 millimeters, and the 300 millimeters is gonna be multiplied by 1.6 as well, which is gonna give you roughly 400 millimeters. So you're gonna get uh, 120 to 450 millimeters of reach, which is insane. And this setup right here doesn't weigh too much because this is a Canon 700D and it's quite lightweight. I actually have a weighing scale right here. We're gonna weigh this whole setup. Canon 700D plus the Canon 75 to 300 millimeters weighs only 1.50 kilos. And if I were to weigh this ginormous Canon 60 plus Tamron 70 to 200, so this whole setup weighs 1.9 kilos. That's insane. This is super heavy. And my current go-to setup, if I were to use telephoto lenses for events, is my a7 IV plus the Tamron 70 to 180. And this weighs about 1.4 kilos. So again, 1.50 kilos, almost two kilos, and 1.4 kilos. So imagine this, you got a very long reach for only half the weight of this full frame setup right here. So again, this lens right here is compatible with an APS-C camera like my Canon 700D, and it can also be attached or mounted onto a Canon 60 without having the vignette circle that you get when you use APS-C lenses on full frame cameras. So this lens right here is fully compatible with, with Canon full frame cameras. So I don't know how to stress this enough, but I really love the weight and the size of the Canon 75 to 300 millimeters. Like for example, if I'm out to shoot professional work, of course I don't mind the weight because I'm being paid to shoot. But if I just wanna go out and vlog or take pictures around the city, this thing is really amazing because it does not make me hesitate to bring a zoom lens with me because we all know how heavy zoom lenses can get. So the last thing that I love about this lens right here is that it is dirt cheap. So for the focal length that it offers, 75 to 300 millimeters, this is super cheap because right now on Amazon, this only costs around 180 US dollars to 200 US dollars. And that is an insane deal considering just the reach that it can reach, if you know what I mean. 75 to 300 on a full frame is already astounding, but you use it with an APS-C, you get 120 millimeters to 450. And that is, I just don't know how to stress it enough. This is really a good lens to walk around with if you wanna take photos of birds, of people from afar. Of course, don't do that, that's called stalking. <laughs> but yeah, you get what I mean. This thing is a masterpiece. Okay, so let's talk about the cons that I found when using the 75 to 300 millimeters, be it used on an APS-C or full frame body. And the first one is definitely the variable aperture. Not only the variable aperture, but just the low f-stop because this only goes from f4 to f5.6. So if you're planning to shoot at nighttime in low light, this lens is definitely not gonna be the lens that you're gonna be bringing out. For that kind of shooting, I suggest you use like a Nifty 50, which is still cheap, but has a aperture of f1.8, which is gonna be a lot better than 4.5 to 5.6 when shooting in low light. And the second one is kind of, uh, like a middle ground for me because I love it being lightweight, but at the same time, it means that this thing, in order to maintain its lightweightness, you have to compromise on the build quality, right? So the only thing that's metal on this thing is just the, the lens mount over here, which is metal, and everything else is plastic, which I don't really care because, again, I love lenses that are lightweight, so I don't really care about the build quality. I'll, I'll choose the lightweightness of this lens over build quality of any other lens any day. And probably the most painful pill to swallow regarding the 75 to 300 is that it has no IS or image stabilization, which is kind of difficult if you are shooting 
all the way to 300 millimeters because it's going to be a little bit shaky for that if you had is it would be easier to get like a faster shutter speed plus holding the camera in this position without over vibrating the whole setup but again that's not a deal breaker for me if you are in a scenario like that where you have to be very precise with where you're focusing or what you're photographing just use a tripod but if you are skilled enough or you've been shooting for a long time i think you can handle this lens without worrying too much about not having image stabilization so yeah this was just a quick video talking about the canon ef 75 to 300 millimeter f4 to 5.6 guys you know me i i'm very picky with my gear and i really highly recommend this lens i own a lot of lenses and this is one of the lenses that i don't mind bringing with me on a regular day if i'm just walking around then i don't know what to shoot this is the lens that i will be carrying with me if i'm using a canon aps-c camera of course if i'm using my sony's i'm definitely going to use other lenses so thank you guys so much for watching this video if you found this video helpful hit the like button subscribe comment all that good stuff and i will see you guys in the next video Peace.